one one that I came down in the car. Have we got the microphone on you there? Oh, we have. Oh, it's it's coming. Keep that shawl away from it because oh. the thing about the shawl is it rubs the top of the microphone and it all goes grah, grah, grah. Oh, my goodness. And I'll, don't have want to that be, to I'll have to be careful. You so will. Well, oh. Tell the people who this woman is. This is Margaret of Morn. Margaret is a. Are you 160? I would be. About 160 oh, years old. 1853. Is that when you were born? Let me look at the palm of your hand to see what way the lifeline is. Oh, sweet God. Goes on forever. Look, look turn it around. There she's going <laughs> back. Right you have right another 160 oh, in you. Another, <laughs> and more than that as well. Oh, you I must be you. a wizard. Oh, do you know, I came back here because I want to apologise to that other man that was here the last time. Who was that fella? He had a beard. Oh, your man! I what remember him. I felt that I owed him an apology Why? because, well, he went off on, on some sort of weird talking that he was doing. Oh. I, don't, I didn't know what it was and I told him I wasn't interested in him anymore. Was it a so, proposal? I um, think I might have offended him. So, uh, will you pass that on to him? He's a lovely old man with a beard. <laughs> he was very handsome, and I've been thinking about him this whole time that I owed him an apology. Well, I'll pass that on. I will. She will, will, will. I will, I definitely do that. I will. But so, and who are you? I'm his, his brother. <laughs> are you his younger brother? His younger brother. Because he says to me, whenever he spotted you and saw the cut of you, he says, she'd be no good to me. Because oh. I'm too old. And you're coming with an apology, Margaret? Oh, and he said, no, no, he said, he told me, he says to me, I'd be no good to a woman like that because she's far too young. But you're the younger brother. You could do the family proud, he said. And I'm oh. here in his stead. But I'm not interested in you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's always been my trouble. I just them that it's I wanted trouble too. them that I wanted didn't want me. I know. And I know them exactly. that wanted, wanted me I wouldn't have took. Them wanted me, I wouldn't have took. And I wouldn't have, I wouldn't take and you. I had some ugly ones in my day. I wouldn't take you on a string of herns to make a dozen. <laughs> and that's the God's honest truth. You're not behind the door and coming <laughs> forward and saying it like it is. I even yes. brought them a present. You did not. I did. Yeah. What did you bring? I did. Cool out your hand. I will. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Ah, yes. They're mourn, mourn whites. I brought a couple of spuds for them. I see they're shooting. I they have a couple of wee roots and the tree can cut you them, plant them off. Can you? you could plant them. I was sort of thinking, you know, that <laughs> if he had any guests, extra guests coming, he'd have an extra couple of spuds, uh, badeda. Well, did you ever, could I ask, you keep us right here, because I can't help it. This language has morphed me into the into the morns, and mm. because the winds of morn were coming in from the ocean, across from Peel in the Isle of Man, across oh. the top of uh, the mountain there, a Donard and in on round, <gasps> blowing into Warren Point, <gasps> and it brought the accent with it, you <gasps> see. Oh. Now, the thing to say to you is, would you eat potatoes that have the shoot coming out of them? I would. I would do. Why wouldn't you? I, well, I wouldn't eat food. Well, exactly. Why? What's wrong with eating? What, is there a... <laughs> is it, are they supposed to be bad? But of Margaret's... Sure, the stuff wow. Those, no, um, I said it's just the tradition is you wouldn't eat them, but I would. Why? I, I would. would because they're them. old, is it? Yeah. Well, well, according to Margaret, old is good. Well, old I know that. Good. But sure, if it's food, you can't waste good food. No, you food. can't waste you good can't. food. It's true, it's true. No. So what will you be having for your Christmas dinner this year? Not awfully sure. There was a wee man. I, I, I keep flowing in and out of the language as best I can. But there was a wee man in London. Oh. And he's 80. Oh. 87. And what he said was this, that he's in his 87th year and his 10th year without any company at Christmas. Oh. This is an That's idea for you. Hey, 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 hold your horses man. there. Oh. Hold your horses. Oh. And he, he put an advert in the Irish Post. Oh. And he says in the Irish Post that he wanted a companion for a Christmas oh. dinner in London. Gee. And the first thing happened was a woman wasn't you, yeah. be chance. It was not, but I wish I had. But then she changed her mind. 
Mm. Oh, cruelty, oh, cruelty, cruel? they need a woman. Not turn. You might want to put your microphone back oh in again. Wow, well, well, yeah, keep that mic. Tuck that under your oyster. Not turn. Uh, not you've got turn. a crow sitting on your other lapel. That's red kite. Somebody red gave kite. it to me for a wee present. Isn't I'm it aware. very pretty. A wee brooch. A wee child yeah. gave me that. That is not lovely. It's a nice wee brooch. Oh, and a lovely. present given to you by a child wee is child. great. It's lovely. It's got a blessing to it. Oh, God, it indeed. Well, your man, anyway. He has nobody to stay with him at Christmas. Oh, and God so damn. for me at Christmas, I'll be on my own at Christmas too. I was just going to say, why don't you join him? I was thinking of that, mm. but I couldn't put up with some cantankerous I'll get. I was get. just going to say, you, you, you did suggest he could be a grumpy old man. And I'd like to be, if he sent references now, oh, and oh. he, I, I got half interested when I saw that he had been a butler all his life with rich families, that, uh he had no family of his own. Oh, Aha, oh, you know where I'm oh, coming I from, Margaret. Know, I do know. So, oh. uh, an kindness could bring about a, an act of reciprocity. Oh, are you wanting a wee bit of money left in the will? Is that what you're thinking about? Would I remember the time the money left in wills. There was a boy dying in Newry, and the solicitor was coming round to the house, and the solicitor was going to have the will, will signed. Oh. So they got him out of the bed, and they hid him in the other room. And the boy, the other boy got into the bed and let on he was him. Oh, and he says, yeah. give me the will to assign it. And he's lying in bed and he's writing. He says, oh, I have another thing to add here. He says, and I'd like to leave the house and the farm to John Henry McBride. <laughs> and he signed it. And that was done. And oh. who was it was in the bed signing it? But John oh, Henry, Henry McBride. McBride. True story in Newry, that happened. Oh, I love to remember that story. He was a cute one. He was a cute whore. He, he was, was indeed. Well, That's I wasn't going to say that. But <laughs> if you were having that man for Christmas dinner, what would you be eating? Last year, he's, he's not, he, this is the other thing, give me the clue. Last year he had smoked salmon <gasps> oh. and prawns. Oh. Now, it would, that would be a Harrods job in London. Oh, my Aye. goodness. Wouldn't it? Salmon is that what you would eat too? <clears throat> I would. Because... Would you? I once went and I saw a farm load of turkeys and chickens. Oh. And I saw them going into the dark tunnel, flapping and And they came out of the tunnel they come out of the tunnel upside down. No feathers. Not oh. a word out of them. Oh, they were gone. Oh no. So if I could do my Christmas without hurting any creature, I would want to do that. Oh that's good. And I make I my do. famous one omelet one egg omelet I do, and that's great. For Christmas dinner. Oh, why? You spread, you do it well, bait up, and then you cut very thinly your vegetables. Oh. And you saute them on the pond. What saute? You just saute, you make them soft. When oh. they, you, you, oh, and, then the you, and then you oh. spread like, the stuff like over it. Fry them. Oh. Yeah, and then you spread the stuff over it. Mm. Oh, that's and then that's your one egg omelette. You roll it up then. Oh, lovely. If you that's had a hern or some keel in her, you could. Oh, that's Tell sense. us about your stick. Oh, this here's an old stick. It belonged to my great grandfather. Wow. Wow, that's pretty wow. It's an old stick, aye, and it does me well. It's is it lasted better, all these years. Is it better to cut the stick when the sap's rising or when the sap is gone? When it's rising. You think so? Oh, aye, aye. It'd be the job. I would say so. Have you got one yourself? I, I was growing into it, and I had the stick, but I found I was beginning to depend on it. Oh, now, I no. think... You no more need a stick than you need uh, many's the other thing. But the well, thing about the stick is this. Well, you get to depend on the stick. And there's no point depending on the stick. Because a young woman like you, where well, they can see the look in your eye. <laughs> and my brother told me the way you were looking at him. Oh, I know. And I had the good notion that a woman like you won't need a stick at all. Well, if, you, if he remembers I didn't have the stick the last time, only last brought it to bait him with. Oh, <laughs> he's well shot to you. <laughs> Why don't you spend Christmas with your brother? My brother. Why won't you spend Christmas with him? Oh, my brother? Why won't you spend Christmas oh with him? no, I like, I'm just awful keen to be on my own. Mm -hmm. I'm too, I'm cantankerous, a cantankerous old and old oh, and sure. just I am as I am. Oh, what would you do for that? Christmas? Oh, a black thorn black stick. Black. Oh, I, what would you do for Christmas? What I'll do for Christmas? Well, it's that time of year, you know, I'll be leaving my latch off the door for starters. Will you? I, it just reminds me, you know, of that time when that, remember that woman who used to go around knocking doors and she was looking for somewhere to take her in? That was your woman. Who? That was Mary, Mary. the mother of Jesus. Oh. Mother of Jesus, I, yes. I learned my lesson.
permission from him. And you kept the door her. open then for I anybody? I kicked the latch of the door. So if, if anybody can. So if anyone wants to come in, they can help themselves to the stew or the sup or whatever I have sitting there. And they can come in. Do you know what? It's, it's just hard to be at the old way of going, you know what it is. You know, it it, people just don't have time these days for one yeah. another. Mm. It's not the no. crack and cart that tumbles no. the quickest, does the it's old not, say. It's not a what? It's not the crack and cart that tumbles the no, quickest. No, it's not the crack and cart that tumbles. But as we're saying, people just don't have time. Mm. I mean, they don't have time for it. That person who brought me down here the day in the car, she was making all these wrong turns, and I could remember where the place was. And was she telling you? She was talking to you. I was telling you. her you've took the wrong turn. It used to be if you were in a horse and cart, you had plenty of time to make decisions that yeah. were right. Yeah. She's going that quickly. She'd cut somebody she's travelling that oh, fast in that motor listen. machine. And then the, 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 the cart was great because it would bring round the it would bring round the buttermilk in those oh, days. Oh, those I, were the days we had the buttermilk instead of the Bordeaux. Oh, I could tell you about a miserable old pair that wouldn't she even wouldn't know. know what Bordeaux is. She wouldn't know what Bordeaux is. What, what's a Bordeaux? A, a Bordeaux. That's a nice what does a Bordeaux do? It's it makes you very merry. Oh, does it? It's nice. a whole load of squashed grapes. It's the oh, juice yeah. out of squashed grapes. Oh, I see. Well, it probably would have been like a port wine many years ago. Oh, yes. Oh. You remember those days. Oh, I do remember those days. I'd la da da di da 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 di da da di da di do ah da di da 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 di da da God, you're lovely. Oh, you're lovely too. You're coming round, girl. Oh, I'm coming round. That's my seductive powers. Oh, you never know. <laughs> Maybe if we're meeting in the middle, we've found a common ground after well, all. Oh, so, I have uh, indeed, uh, indeed. Uh, and what do you do yourself at Christmas? Once you leave the door locks open, will you? Well, will Santa Claus come to you? Oh, okay, well, I don't know now about Santa Claus coming to me, but I know that I'll be going round to see some old friends that need a helping hand and, you know, some sick friends at this time of year. We also, we go round each other's houses and all uh, coming this time of year, do a bit of quilting and uh, quilting? we'll have a wee bit of Cayley music Cayley? and all mm -hmm. and the fiddler he'll be going round. Patchwork. And, oh, yes, indeed. That'll be done too. Oh, yes, that'll all be done. Did you yeah. knit your own shawl? It was my friend on that, Sarah McCartan on that Isn't for it me. Lovely. Isn't it beautiful? It's very, it's it's say it's very warm. Oh, what's it's lovely. Warm as and it's lovely um, colours in it, but you're moving, you you're covering oh, your microphone and getting up You're not used to this. I understand, understand not that. Used Do you yours. wear a liberty bodice? That's very, very, very Can I have that stick a wee mama? <laughs> That's very By good of you. That's you don't. Ah! 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 <laughs> you don't ask I only it. asked you about. You don't liberty, ask ladies things like that. I'm concerned for her warmth he's and her I know. He's, 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 you know what, he's, he's, a wee bit, um, he's a wee bit modern and a bit ahead of himself. Asking he a does, woman I know, what she I know, wears he's, underneath the right He has no matter. It would have been Here. different if I had said bloomers. That's terrible! Give her that wee thing, maybe sweeten her up a bit. What is that? That's a wee sweet You've probably you. never seen these before. Oh, what Margaret, is I'd like to give you this oh. as a token of my Virgin and affection oh, for you. Oh my God! Did you ever hear of chocolate, Mark? Oh God, I've heard of chocolate. Aye. Not that early for dear sake. Thanks stupid. Can I open those. them? I love you, Shirley. <laughs> oh, wasn't that lovely? Oh, no, you chocolate. have to. Very nice you one. have to. What happens? Don't put it all in. Oh, yes, I have a technique, you see. What do you do? But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. It's just if I was serious about you, and I'm not. I have to tell you. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. Great but goodness. what I was I going to suggest, can hear. if we were, if we were actually going the distance and heading in a certain direction, you would put that sweet half in your mouth, and I'd come over to you, and I'd bite the other half off the other you know, and then you would eat your half, and I would eat you my half, oh my and then we'd have well, to be got, married. Got, you're going too far. She's we'd going have to fit. be married oh within seven God. years. Oh, that, so we all together. I'm just so That's glad to be single. I know. It's, I'm it's, glad. It's, I don't, I'm not you're just going a bit too far. Enjoy no, your bit of uh, enjoy that there. I'll now. break it in two and get no, it. It's gooey inside it's gooey. and get oh, me back. Oh, no. it is, oh yeah. I actually did. Cram it, 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 it into your gum. Put her into your gum. Wow, is that nice? Oh, Watch the teeth. Watch the teeth. <laughs> Where can people see you? You're like I mean, you're a great woman. You're out and about all the time doing great things. Oh. And you're talking to people and people can people can engage you for they Events. Get, want engaged with them. No, I don't mean that sort of engagement. I mean, 
left the phone. Hello, Margaret. Are you free to do a wee gig for us? Telephone. Off of the hall. Telephone. Hmm. Telephone. Uh, listen, that's Anthony, you don't have a telephone. I don't have a telephone. You don't have a telephone. So I don't have a telephone. So how do people contact you, Margaret? They're not on my door. They're not on no. your door. So you knock on her door if you want her. That's it. But have you a Facebook or a page or anything? <laughs> oh, jeez. You're on. getting ahead of yourself now. <laughs> I've, burnt with a, I've got a burp with a face on it now. It's, uh, <laughs> it's got the Mother Mary on it. It's called the Bible. The Bible? I've got the Bible. You're it's a kind of a, a holy picture. woman. Oh, indeed. Do you know what just reminds me of this man that used to go around I long? And he was a holy man called Pray and Dan. Pray and Dan. Pray and Dan. And he, he used to wear a big crucifix round his neck. And he would walk barefoot and he would go round house to house saying the rosary and many other prayers. My God. And he was blind. And any wee boy that was leading him, he would make him take him over to where the cut stones were. For penance, you see, it was Walking. harder on the feet. Oh. Oh. And at Christmas time, that's what they used to do. Isn't that powerful? It's an interesting well, thought, you that. You never hear of these things. You don't, no. but we, you come in here and you tell us about them, and that's all to the good. Times have changed a little. Well, the times, times, they are a-changing. Oh, they are indeed, for so, the worse. So, I want to wish you a very happy Christmas. Oh, well, thank you. Is Colin still in Kilkeel? Colin's, lots of Colin's. In Colin's Kilkeel. the diver. Colin the diver. In Kilkeel. He died. Um, no, under the ocean. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Well, I know some of the old characters like uh, Don Rice and uh, Burn the Whistle and. Uh, Burn the Whistle. All the word. Burn the Whistle. Everywhere he went. Anyway, he had his iron was too hot <laughs> for the fire, that was why. Aye. Burn the Whistle. So there's plenty of people, but I haven't heard of Dave and Colin. No, that it was. It may be time. after your time. After oh, your time. I like oh. your glasses. I got new glasses them. since I saw you. Did you? Look at that. Oh, they're lovely. Yeah. They're very you didn't nice. See her before. Very becoming. Ah, yeah. She here she is becoming. Mm. That's it. Very Maybe becoming. Yeah. They're lovely glasses, and it's lovely to be back here, and you're looking lovely. That dress Thanks is a wee bit indeed. short for Those you. Those are to a quarter. It's not a dress. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, it's only because I'm sitting down. When I stand up, it's a wee bit she longer. She has a queer pair of uh, well, legs on her. That. You need to cover up a wee bit. You just child. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry if I offend you, Margaret. I'll pull it down a wee bit. I'll let you borrow one of my skirts. Thank um, you. What about the, 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 the big, big pink bloomers? Away He's away again. again. He needs a <laughs> good speech with that stick. That's <laughs> oh, terrible. You don't talk to a lady like that. Do you not sorry. understand these things? I swear I've been getting it at least, wrong. Well, I tell you what, you, you didn't like his brother, but at least he had a few manners. You were better than he him. He had plenty of manners. This, I'm not this young, this young fellas, he's away with the fairies. This one. He's, a, he's frisky, I, I think. I don't know what the next generation no. will be. It'll soon be that you can't get a man to flick a clag of a stinking weed. No, you, no, to you won't. To flick a clag of a stinking <laughs> weed. <laughs> no. no. That fella wouldn't do it for you. It wouldn't well, do it for me. Will you end the show here? Because it's time for us all to go. We have to wave our hands at people. We do. I have to say goodbye Margaret to everybody. Because time is up, you. Margaret. It's been lovely to see you. And we'd like, both like to wish you a very happy Christmas oh, uh, with you. your friends there in Kilkeel oh, on the side you. of the mountain. And it's been lovely to have you. That's been lovely to be back and, and thank you for having me back. I still can't see you. I, I no, don't, you won't. But, but it's, I'm here and you're there and just call on the house any day that you're going by and you can come in for a week up or day or spud. That'd be lovely. And this will be putting this out on the television again on Christmas Day. Oh, will you? My wee you, thing fell off. Well, now, just don't let that there. happen. You hold it there. <laughs> you just hold it we'll there. We'll all wave goodbye <laughs> to the people. Bye. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. That's it.